ICA has concluded that there is a risk to the European environment for using microplastics in products. And we've also concluded that the most effective means to address that risk is to ban microplastics in such uses. Microplastics are very, very small particles made of plastic. They are released, for example, when we drive a car from the tires on driving off on the road. But they are also in many products, and they're intentionally added to them. For example, cosmetics, fertilizers, paints, but also in places like artificial football pitches in uh, the infill to make them soft when you play football. We estimate here in ICA that about 45,000 tons of this plastic is emitted into Europe from these intentionally added microplastics. Um, and this is one of the reasons why the European Commission, as part of its plastic strategy, asked ICA to do a restrictions proposal, which basically means assess the risk and what can we do about it. We in ICA have now concluded our scientific and technical work on this restrictions proposal. We've established that there is a risk and we've made proposals as to what is the most effective measures for the Commission to address that risk. And we've made our analysis on the consequences of addressing the risk in terms of costs and in terms of impact on the environment in case the risks are not addressed. We've done this fully transparently, involving all stakeholders from industry to NGOs and all member states and scientists along the way. And now it's up to the Commission to decide from a policy perspective whether the risks are sufficiently high and big in order to take action against their emissions.